Hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for another part of The Sims 2 Strange Town. Yeah. Alright, so I know that since I got pregnant and just, you know, things started changing in my life, I did say that I was putting a hold on my Let's Plays just because it was really hard for me to find the time to be consistent with Let's Plays, but I thought about it <laughs> and I miss it. I really, really do. I know you guys miss it as well. And um, I'm going to continue. We're going to finish. We're going to finish. We're going to we're gonna do the thing, okay? As long as you guys can bear with me as far as it not being super consistent, expecting a certain series, a certain day at a certain time. It's just going to be when I get around to do it, hopefully once a week for both Pleasant View and Strange Town. But we are going to be wrapping up Pleasant View, so I'm not really too worried about Pleasant View. Um being super consistent because I am wrapping it up. But yeah, I want to continue doing Let's Plays. Let's Plays are my favorite. As much as I love to do speed builds, I really love to do Let's Plays. So anyways, yeah, I'm super excited and I hope you guys are too. So anyways, we are back today with the Curious Brothers. Uh, it's been a minute, but last time we played them, you know, we had, uh, I don't remember the names. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I suck. Pascal is pregnant. Um, and I think Vidkud was abducted by aliens, so, um, I don't know if he's, where's he at? Oh yeah, he's pregnant. <laughs> he's puking his guts up right now, but anyways, I entered into the household, and I have Pascal going into labor right now, so we're about to have, like, two little alien babies running around, which that's fine. They're super cute. I don't have a name, but here he goes. I mean, finally, a man <laughs> is experiencing what it's like to be a woman. <laughs> I really just don't think that men could do it. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we have a baby boy, and um, I was looking up alien baby names, which, I mean, um, I don't even know why people, like, I mean, I guess if you're playing, like, The Sims or writing books or just, you, you're into aliens. But anyways, there's actually websites where we can get some baby uh, alien names. So I was looking through them, and they're not super weird. I didn't want it to be, like, Polynesian Technician number nine, <laughs> like our PT9 in the Smith family. That's just too much. Um, but I did want it to be a little different. I didn't want it to be super like human. Um, so I found one and it's Theron. It's kind of like Darren, but Theron. So I have Theron or also there is, um, I don't know. I kind of like that one best. I I'm looking, but, um, yeah, I think we're going to do Theron. Yeah, let's just do Theron. I think that's different. Um, spelled T-H-A-R-E-N, Theron. Yeah. Okay. So this is Theron, and was that not the cutest little split screen? He was kind of like, oh, what the if? <laughs> but, oh, he's so cute at the same time. So, Pascal's been given an additional three days off in order to get the newborn attention. Um, the carpool for Laszlo will arrive in about an hour. Okay, what are you doing? Okay, well, I mean, I guess we have, like, a built-in babysitter, but he's, he's not even holding him. Like, do you have a baby carrier? <laughs> Is this a glitch? Do you... Alien babies just float. Do they carry themselves? I'm concerned, but whatever. It's probably a glitch. So, anyways, he has not, uh, Vidkut has not taken on his um, pregnant body yet, but we did witness him throwing up, so I do believe he is pregnant as well. So, uh, we are going to have another alien baby soon, so that's awesome. Um, and, okay. I was, one of them is in a relationship, but it's not him. I know he has a crush still on Kersey. It's, yeah, okay, it's, um, Laszlo. Laszlo has a crush on Crystal Vu, so, wait, is somebody here? 
Oh, it's a, is that a skunk? Oh, no, Nervous is here. Did I invite Nervous over? I don't remember what happened in the last part, <laughs> honestly, but anyways, Nervous and, um, Pascal are really good friends, and I did ask you guys. I know that is one thing I did ask. Oh, is he leaving? No, don't leave, because I, I wanted to talk to you and hang out with you. Um, but I did ask you guys if you think that I should have them be in a relationship, just because some people have assumed that they are, um, like, kind of meant to be, I guess you would say, um, uh, but then I also have people say, no, if you, you know, want to do something different with your Let's Play and not kind of go, you know, the the usual, like everybody else, then just have them be friends. Um, so I do want mine to be different. So I don't know. I mean, I'm just going to play it by ear. I'm not going to have them kind of pursue each other right this second. I'm going to have them continue their friendship and, um, you know, try to get nervous out of that house. And then just kind of play it by ear, okay? So, if, if they happen to fall for each other romantically, then hey. I didn't really necessarily push it. But also, if they meet somebody else, then you know what? That's fine too. You know what? I just, I don't want to be just like everybody else. I know a lot of people, you know, still have, you know, Strange Town Let's Plays. There's not very many. But I know that's something that a lot of people have seen and done in their own personal gameplay. So, I guess the baby's fine. Um, I can't check its needs just like in The Sims 4. So, we're going to put Theron back in his crib. And we're going to focus on ourselves a little bit. Um, is, oh, can, we, can we not get into our room by this door? I don't know. Anyways, I don't like their beds. I kind of want to give them a little bit of a makeover. Their house a little bit of a makeover. Uh, but I don't know. I just, I kind of like to keep <laughs> their houses as close to the original as possible. And by the way, in case you guys haven't noticed, in my strange town and pleasant view, and just Sims 2 series in general, I do like to play kind of vanilla style. Um you know, just, just because. I don't want to put too many mods in my game. I don't want to break it. And this is like an OG Sim game. So, it's nice to not have a lot of mods and a lot of custom content. So, yeah. But I probably will give them a little bit of a, a makeover as far as like these glasses that they're wearing. Y'all know I'm not a fan of the, the, the glasses. <laughs> I usually take them off of every Sim, but um, I haven't done it yet, so I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm debating. But anyways, I don't know why he hasn't gone to work. Oh, okay. He's off today, but he does work at 4 p.m. anyways, and then we know um, Laszlo will be home at 3. Who is here to see us? Oh, Rod Humble. He's going to leave us a computer, which we will definitely take. So I'm going to have Pascal. What's he doing? He taking a shower or is he cleaning it? Yeah, he's taking one. Okay, I'm gonna have him when he gets done taking a shower. We're gonna come out here and open. Do we we have a maid? I did not hire one. I guess they already had a maid, but or did? Oh, I did hire one. I th yeah, I did. Yeah, pretty sure I did hire. <laughs> it's been a hot minute since I've played. You guys, bear with me. But now that I'm thinking about it, I do believe that. Um, Okay, it's not in it's in his inventory. I'm sorry. I'm just confused. Okay. We're going to put this on one of the desks here. Can't we do that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I feel like they would have like a lot of technology and computers. So, we're definitely going to put that to use. But yeah, I do think I remember hiring the maid. I think they had the desire to marry. Or not marry. Did I say marry a maid? Oh my god. Y'all pregnancy brain? I can't even talk. I, honestly, it's a struggle. Uh, hire a maid. And I remember being like, yeah, it's three men. Three brothers living together. Not to be like stereotypical. <laughs> but men sometimes aren't the, uh, the neatest. <laughs> but anyways. Looks like he is working on his logic. Um, but he has all of his skills that he needs to get his next promotion. So, we just kind of really have to go to work once he's off maternity leave. And, um, they're both lab assistants. Yeah. So, Vidkud needs to work on his cleaning skill a little bit. Um, so, yeah. Nothing's really dirty right now. But, I mean, I could go to a bookshelf and have him do that. Um, but anyways, he wants to meet aliens. As if he did not just get abducted by aliens. I mean, get real, dude. Come on. <laughs> Um, 
and Laszlo has not. He does want to meet aliens, and he wants Vidka to meet aliens, but Vidka just met aliens. I'm a little concerned. I don't really know if I want... Uh, okay, he is in the scientist career. He's into the alien life, too. I was going to say I don't really want him to get pregnant, but maybe later. I just don't want three toddlers running around. That's just a little much. Um, so, we may just kind of hold out on him getting abducted, or at least try to. Um, until, you know, Vidka's baby is born and Thano, Thano, I said Thano, I should have named him Thano. Is Thano, is Thano with somebody in the Avengers, isn't it? I think so. I don't watch the Avengers, but, uh, my friend does and I feel like I've heard that name. So anyways, it's not Thanos, it's Theron. <laughs> when Theron ages up, we'll probably... You know, have Laszlo do that. But also, I kind of want Laszlo to pursue that relationship with Crystal Vu. So maybe when he gets home, I can invite her over just because um, he is the only one really in a relationship right now. And I don't want them to be alone forever. Like, I don't want them all three, like, living here alone with no romance in their lives, if that makes sense. So, anyways, Vidkud has taken care of little Theron. I think he's fine now, so let's just go put him back up. And I think I want to come over here and take advantage of these cute little potter plants and do some planting. So I think this is really cool and I love to see this in The Sims 4. We have like planter boxes but I really like how this has the lamp on top so you can put it inside your house too. Um, like in a little sunroom or something so I think that's really cool. But anyways I guess he's going to go outside and uh, catch some sun, get some fresh air if you will also i'm gonna just have him grill some hot dogs he's probably gonna catch the place on fire he has one cooking skill so maybe not uh, but i just know that that pizza is definitely not filling him up i've had him eat like two slices already um so yeah he's wh why are you where are you going oh he's got to go get the hot dogs i forgot it's not like in the sims 4 you actually have to like fill up your refrigerator with groceries and they'll go and get stuff out of it so that's pretty cool but anyways pascal has a day off today and vidkut has a day off today cool um i'm gonna have him come over here and eat once vidkut finishes uh cooking the hamburgers but i mean hot dogs <laughs> but anyways i don't know about vidkut and i'm trying to think of like who i could see him with but I mean, he does have a crush on Kersey, but I, th I think Kersey is going to stay with, what's his name? I don't even remember his name. The evil dude. Why can't I think of his name? Loki. There we go. Because it's weird. That's why. <laughs> it's just been a minute. <laughs> but anyways, I definitely see her staying with uh, Loki. So, I think he's kind of just crushing on her from afar. And it's not really something that is going to happen. Probably just in his dreams. <laughs> so, I think that we probably need to get out there and, you know, kind of meet somebody. And Because we have a baby coming, probably. I mean, he was puking, so I'm assuming. Uh, we need some we, we need some help. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, I do want them to have relationships. And I, I want to be able to, to, like, develop, you know, their lives and relationships and everything like that. But as far as, like, Pascal, I, same, same thing. We're just going to go with the flow, see who we can meet and whatnot. And, you know, just really not push anything with Nervous right now because, um, especially if there is feelings there, I would think that Pascal um, would be more interested in, um, oh my gosh, what? Okay, he'd be more interested in, uh, <laughs> I'm so confused, what, what is happening? <laughs> And, and helping uh, Nervous get out of that situation. But are you serious? Laszlo, are you really going to bring Loki home? Loki, which I'm pretty sure nobody likes Loki. Yes. Are, are y'all friends? Okay, so Laszlo isn't friends with him, but he doesn't despise him. But Pascal... And Vidkud both despise Loki. And of course, freaking Laszlo is going to bring him home. Of all people. I mean. <laughs> drama. Alright, so anyways, he's stinky, so we're going to take a shower. <laughs> I think I'm going to have uh, Pascal come over here and uh, 
just kind of like poke him because Pascal does know the situation with Nervous and that is his friend. So I think he's going to stand up for his friend and he's going to come over here and be like, the nerve, <laughs> the nerve of you to show up over here. And then of course Vicky's going to have his back because, you know, he wants to bang his wife. <laughs> That's no secret. All right. So yeah, they're over here now just to fight. And he's like, I can't believe you'd show up at my house. He's like, don't you put your hands on me, son. <laughs> oh my God. I love it. <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah, I, I just, um, of course, you know, there, the it's like The Sims 2 knows that we, we crave the drama. So they invite the right Sims over at the right time, you know? Okay, so wait, they're not enemies now? No? No, y'all are supposed to continue to be enemies. How are y'all fighting? How is that <laughs> helping your relationship? I'm a little concerned. But anyways, now we're going to... Ooh, yeah, bow up, son. Bow up. Bow up. I'll teach you. <laughs> Oh my gosh, like my commentary like sucks. <laughs> Anyways, now I'm gonna have Vidka. Oh, we done pissed him off now he's leaving, ain't he? Oh, slapping him now. Okay, we don't even need Vidka's help after all. You know, pa Pascal is, is killing it. He's on it. He's like, I ain't got time for this. Yeah, we done pissed him off. No. Oh, he's gonna go over there and cry. What a little twat. What a little... S what, really? Why can't... Oh, I, is it because he's asleep? I wanted him to come over here and just kind of make it worse because he don't like him either. But he's sleeping, so I'm going to let him sleep for a little bit. <laughs> and Pascal's like, I don't have time for this. I got a child to take care of. Um, anyways, and he's just going to come take a freaking deuce in our freaking toilet now. That's cute. All right. I'm a little concerned with the, the floating baby. <laughs> I really need that baby carrier when my baby gets here because, like, it looks very comfortable. I, you know, <laughs> very stylish. Anyways, Laszlo, you know what? Get off, get off the computer. I know you heard that <laughs> confrontation going on. So, you know what? Why don't you just say goodbye? Just why stir the pot? Why stir the pot? All right. So, anyways, Loki's leaving now, and I had originally planned on inviting over. What's her name again? Crystal. And that didn't happen because he invited over, um, what's his name? So, I, I, I was about to just invite her over, but I realized that it's kind of getting late, and he's also super tired, so I'm just going to call her and talk to her, and then maybe tomorrow, does he work tomorrow? He does, but maybe tomorrow we'll kind of, like, skip through a little bit so we can, you know, spend time with her in this part as well, and just kind of try to get that romance up. Um, let me check his memories again. I want to see... Um, I know he has a crush on her, but has he kissed her? No, he's only kissed Mystery Sim. And I know that in Strange Town, with all of my introductions, when I go through their memories, 90% of them has interacted or kissed or something with a Mystery Sim. And I was kind of like getting aggravated, like, who is this Mystery Sim? And I had a lot of you tell me that Mystery Sim is kind of like generated just for like the sake of the storyline. And it can really be anybody that you want it to be. But I don't like that because I like it to be a mystery because it's Strange Town. And I didn't see that in Pleasant View Memories. So I think it is just kind of special to Strange Town. Um, some of you say it's Bella Goth, you know, who knows, maybe Bella Goth got abducted and she's just over here thoughting around Strange Town, kissing everybody, you know, <laughs> I don't know, but I do really want to see the Bella Goth here in Strange Town, I don't think I ever, ever saw her, I did, wait, did I, no, I don't think I've seen her before, no, have I? I don't, y'all, I haven't played in a long time, <laughs> as far as like on my channel and then also off camera. You know, back in the day when The Sims 2 was, like, my ish. But, anyways, he's super tired. I'm going to have him come clean up this pizza real quick before he goes to sleep. And, um, I think Laszlo just became best friends with Crystal View. So, they have, like, a really good relationship. So, yeah, what I'm going to do is have them clean up around the house and go to sleep. And then we're going to pick back up, hopefully, when Laszlo gets home from work tomorrow. And we can, um... You know, spend a little time with Crystal. All right, so just a little midday update while we have Laszlo working away. Pascal has been doing really good at being daddy. You know, he's, you know, doing it all by himself. He's all glitched out. He's 
you know, doing a one-handed. He is the man. He is Superman. <laughs> uh, but anyways, um, I did delete the doors in all of their bedrooms because it was pissing me off that they kept walking outside to go to the rooms instead of walking through the hallways because, for example, it's like raining right now. And he kept going to the outside doors and it was just annoying. So, anyways, I did delete that and then also... I'm going to go ahead and get him up now so he can get, like, his sleeping schedule back on track. But Vidkud is officially pregnant. So, I did go ahead and give him a little baby crib for his future little baby coming along. <laughs> and I uh, put it in his room there. So, hopefully, he'll have a girl because um, Theron is our little alien baby boy. And I, I do want a little girl. I think that'd be really, really cute. But, anyways, you know, they're just taking on the, the dad life. I mean... Can you imagine, you know, getting just knocked up by aliens, uh, giving birth as a man? I mean, I love it. <laughs> I really do. It's really cool. But anyways, what is he doing? He's reading. Okay. Ooh, our phone's ringing. Let's see who is calling us. I do want them both to work on their cooking skill just because I freaking hate having low quality meals that does not feed them or fill them up. Um, and they're the dads of the family, so they, they should have those skills. So, Crystal's calling. Hey, Pascal, is Vidkut available to talk? No, he's actually at work, but, you know, I, I heard yesterday he said he was inviting you over, girl. So, I will let him know you called, but I'm pretty sure he's going to be probably seeing you later. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This baby is needy. Um, oh, he's not even crying. I guess he just wanted to hold him. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, so... Anyways, I'm going to have him come over here and probably feed him a bottle because um, it was been earlier this morning that I did give him his last bottle. So, anyways, um, our maid is here and she is cleaning up. We did have quite a mess for her, so she actually will, you know, get her money's worth today. Alright, so Laszlo has returned home. Oh, Laszlo has a... Laszlo is the cook of the family. Okay, okay. So I don't really have to worry about, like, you know, having you two cook. We, we got a cook on our hands here. He is, like, skilled in cooking. But anyways, he's home, and thankfully he did not invite over Loki and bring any drama home. So, anyways, what I want to do now um, is have him call over Crystal and just see if we can, like, have a first kiss with her. Kind of pursue her romantically. I'm going to have vid kid um yeah we're gonna call crystal and invite her over but i'm gonna have Vidkid come use the restroom and i guess he's gonna be our little babysitter <laughs> get him some practice in so crystal said how nice of you to invite me i'll just gussy up and come right over perfect i think we're gonna do the same as soon as our brother gets off the toilet <laughs> we do need to take a shower i don't want to be feeling like musky you know that's probably not the best way to win a chick over you know fellas put on your deodorant <laughs> um but okay let's come take a shower real real quick before she gets here hurry i bet she's here already <laughs> Does, yep she's here all right it's fine we're just gonna hop in there real fast and then i'm gonna have him cook a nice dinner so we can get full um, and we're just gonna have, you know, Vidka just hang out around the house, so. Oh, I guess we could probably come and, um, greet her so she doesn't leave since he's in the shower. I don't want her to run off, so we'll have Vidka <laughs> come. This poor girl, she's gonna walk into this household, okay? She sees a pregnant man waddling towards her, obviously, WTF, <laughs> and then she's gonna go inside and, oh. Oh, there's an alien baby. Okay, girl. If if she if she allows him to woo her, she is a keeper. Just looking at this craziness before her right now. Oh, but she's walking right in. Oh, she's like, I, I gotta use the restroom. <laughs> um, so anyways. Um, we're gonna have him come over here and serve um ooh, salmon. That's fancy. Let's serve let's just serve some pork chops, you know? And um you know, we want to cook her a dinner, just in case she's hungry. And then also, we want to be able to feed ourselves and our family. Um, looks like the baby's doing fine. But, yeah, Crystal's cute. Crystal, Crystal's not part of the single friends. The single household. I, I don't think she is. She might be. But I can't remember. <laughs> I really can't. Um... No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't know who she is, but we're, we're going to get to know her a little bit. 
ooh, he must be attracted to her. Just out of curiosity, I want to see if Vidkut is attracted to her. You know, I don't think it's going to, like, um, cause him to have any kind of romantic relationship or cause any problems. I just want to see if there's, like, an attraction there. So, I need to check her out. Okay, so they have, like, one thing in common. It's not too bad. It's not too much. But, anyways, the food is served. So, hopefully, she's going to come over here and um, eat. But, maybe not. Can we call our guest to the meal? How do you do that? I don't know. But, I mean, girl, fend for yourself around here if you're hungry. There she goes. Yeah, she's... Oh, yeah, okay. Well, they could come eat this plate. So, yeah, I want to have them just, like, kind of eat real quick. Theron's birthday is only a day away. It seems like only yesterday that the little bundle of joy came into this world. Oh, how quickly they grow up. Yeah, that is fast. I think they only stay babies for two days. Or is it three days? I think that's the same as The Sims 4. Three days, maybe. So, anyways. Once he gets done eating, I think he's already done. No? Okay. Well, I'm going to have him come over here and just kind of, like, flirt with her a little bit. Maybe, you know, uh, try to get that kiss in. You know, Vidkut, you better back off, son. <laughs> you better back off. But, anyways. Okay. Yeah, let's come over here and put away these leftovers before we do that. I mean, why are they talking about kissing? Like, stop trying to take your brother's woman. Let's not, okay? Don't do that. That's bad. Wait, is he even attracted to her? Is Laszlo even... Maybe, what if he's not even attracted to him, her? Okay, hold up. Pascal has been given a large amount of test, um, oh my gosh, I'm so far away from the screen, I can't read. Okay, Pascal has been given a large amount of test sweets to run. I think that's sweets. I'm so far away and I'm about blind. Normally, he's used to having a bit of free reign in the lab, fixing up some of the machinery, playing with the mice, and with Wiki, the singing chimpanzee but now all of a sudden the lead researcher has pascal running these simple and formulatic tests that even wiki could do and pascal's not so happy about it then it occurs to him that wiki the singing champan chimpanzee could run the test suites after all all they are is a bunch of check boxes one after the other Pascal never pays much attention to them anyways. Should Pascal let Wiki do the test suites or take a stand for himself and tell his boss what he thinks? Ooh, that is a tough call. Because we could get in trouble if we let Wiki do it. And we might piss our boss off if we speak our mind. We're just going to... Oh, I'm scared. I don't want him to get fired. We're going to let Wiki do it. Pascal sets Wiki up with a ballpoint pen, taking extra care to explain the inherent dangers of pens, and puts whiskey, whiskey, <laughs> y'all see what's on my mind, <laughs> I can't drink, I'm pregnant, but y'all know, <laughs> puts whiskey, wi why do I keep want to call him whiskey, put Wiki at his desk with a stack of test sweets, Pascal makes himself a cup of coffee and snuggles up in the lounge area with a furry blanket and the latest scientific journals. But just as he's flipping to an article outlining the ever-shrinking distinction between objective and subjective observation, Wiki comes storming down the hallway in a flurry of broken pens and test suites. Pascal gives chase with the chimpanzee makes it out the front doors and into the surrounding forest before Pascal even has time to sound the alarm. It looks as though the repetitive nature of the simple test was too much even for Wiki and Pascal is forced to pay for a replacement chimpanzee costing him 867 simoleons. Okay, well that's not bad. Okay, it cost us some money but it didn't cost us our job so you know what? That's fine. I'm okay with that. But anyways, I'm going to come over here and kind of charm her a little bit. Just see, like I said, I don't even know. He doesn't have, he's not even attracted to her. Oh, wow. They're just best friends. Like, he's really not. Oh, my God. Did she just, was that a crush or was that love? Wait, it disappeared. Is he in love? He Does he like her now? Let's give her a peck. Let's just see. Let's just see if that changes his feelings. Okay. Um. Well. Uh. Let's make out with her. Let's just kind of like. Oh. 
Oh, the baby's crying. Okay, of course. Of course the child would be the cop block. I mean, that's usually how it happens when you have kids in the house, you know. Uh, you gotta put the baby first, so. <sighs> Anyways, um, he's probably hungry. Yeah, he is. Okay, so. Oh, <laughs> Vic is like, dude, he asked me to do that. I gotta practice. <laughs> he's like, you was taking too long, bro. It's fine. I got it. I got it. <laughs> so, anyways, we'll have Vic come take a shower. And we're going to have him just, you know, feed him a little bit. Kind of cuddle with him because I don't even think Laszlo has bonded with the baby at all. And then put him back in the crib. And then I'm going to come over here one more time before we wrap this part up here. And um, kind of like, I don't know. Let's check her out. I'm a little concerned because at first he wasn't even attracted to her. But then after he flirted and kissed her, it went away. So, let's just see if if that changes. He's, he's, I don't know, maybe he just wants some, but I don't know. Maybe you should, you know, risk such a great friendship because they're like best friends. Oh, wait, I don't want to miss it. Ah! Oh! it. okay. He checked her out, and apparently there's just really, did she leave? Where is she at? Uh, is she like, what is her deal? Is she more interested in freaking Vidkid than us? I mean, apparently, why are you in our brother's room? Let's come over here, check her out. He's sleepy, I know. What is she doing? <laughs> but I just want to, I'm just testing the waters here. Yeah, he's like, oh, she's, she's alright, whatever. You know what, we're going to make out with her. <laughs> um, I mean, he's not not attracted to her, you know. that that. Okay, well, he doesn't want to kiss her. So, uh, I don't know, maybe... He's getting in Pascal's bed too. Cute. So, I don't know what's going on. Let me know what you guys think. Should I just kind of not pursue that? Since evidently there's no sort of chemistry there. Maybe they're just better off as friends. And he just has a slight little crush on her. Because, you know, she's cute. Um, maybe Vidka and her have more in common. And I should pursue that. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. It'll really help me out big time. Um, I hope you guys are excited that we are continuing on with this series. I know I am. So, yeah, let me know. And I, I love you guys. Thank you so much for sticking around with me and being patient. And give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Comment, uh, suggestions, and everything down below. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.